In this chapter, we will take a look at how we can create the fading edges of the circle. This is the circle that we created when we wrote the circle pattern shader. What we will be doing in this chapter is instead of these sharp edges, we will be adding the feather to the edges. That means it's going to slowly fade out. It's similar to feather selection of Photoshop tool. One another thing that we learned in the circles chapter that any point that satisfy the condition should lie at this border, this ring of the circle. Let's give this a try and if it gives us a ring of the circle because in the previous chapter we changed this condition if radius square is greater than this remaining equation then return alpha equals to 1. Let's try if we can see the ring if we give exactly this equation in the shader. So we are back in shader project. We will click on circle fade shader because this is the shader that we modified to understand the smooth step function. Let's open this it in mono develop. And the first thing that we do is remove the smooth step function and save it. Second thing that we will do is we will copy draw circle function and paste it and we will rename it as draw circle fade so that we can keep draw circle in the shader as well as we have another function which is draw circle fade and we will use this function in the fragment shader. So what we understood is we want to see the command if circle equals to equals to radius square then return 1 otherwise return 0. Let's save it. What we expect is we expect that we see a ring of the circle, the border ring of the circle. The fact is that we are not going to see anything. Why? We will understand it but let's see the results first. So everything is transparent. There is no ring. The reason why this condition is satisfied for a very small value which is lesser than a pixel and that's why in the final calculation it does not impact the pixel color. So we don't see anything. So how about if we increase the range of it. We go back to our previous condition and what we say here is if circle is less than circle square plus we create a tiny border, a small value. A circle is smaller than radius square plus 1 and a circle is greater than radius square minus 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 is relatively a larger value so decrease it a little bit more and add a parenthesis to combine the if statement. This should give us a border of the circle. Let's save the code and go back to our unity. So here we see our ring, our circle. We can reduce the width of the ring by decreasing the value furthermore. So now we have seen the proof of the circle equation. Now in the next step what we want to do is we will get our circle back and instead of this solid border we will change the value from 1 to 0. So I will take a screenshot of this and bring it to our blackboard and understand what we are going to do with this. So first we will get our circle back. So we will fill this area with the solid color and this border this is just a intersection of a border. We will go from alpha value 1 to 0 and in that way we will see a fading edge effect of the circle. So everything inside the circle is going to be alpha is equals to 1 and for this border value we will decrease the alpha from 1 to 0. So it will go from completely opaque to transparent. We will call this feather because this is a commonly known term which comes from Photoshop. So we will add a parameter in our shader called as feather. Second thing is we will be using a smooth step function. 
The third thing is when we will provide the range to the smooth step function, we will be providing it from radius square to radius square minus feather and then the value.